All right, guys, I'm Spud Gun, and welcome to something a bit different today. Um, lately, I've been craving a World War II game. Uh, this one is called Heroes and Generals. It's free to play on Steam. And I've been playing it quite a lot, like, not on camera. Like, I haven't made any videos of it yet, but I've been playing quite a lot of it. Um, there's, it's kind of, I'll, I'll warn you now, it's kind of a little bit pay to win. Like, it takes a long, long time to unlock a lot of guns. Uh, let's just look at my... I've got quite a few different people here. I've got a Russian soldier, a German soldier, an American tank guy, and two American soldiers. I don't know why I've got two. I think this one I was going to try... No. This one is like the main one I started with. I think I was going to try and make him a sniper, but I believe I have to do a bit more work to do that. Veteran... See, a lot of, like, these gold coins you basically have to pay for, pay real money for, I think. I've got a few, because I spent a little bit of money, but I feel, I feel stupid spending a lot of money on a free-to-play game, because this is kind of a little bit pay-to-win, but you do have to unlock these um, achievements. Like, if I wanted a Thompson, I'd have to get to this rank, which is here. Yeah. <laughs> So I'd have to do a lot of ranking up, but I can just buy these ranks with coins. In-game coins is the silver ones. Um, can't really see how many I've got. 66,000 because of my overlays kind of over that. Um, I think this is new. I don't think you could pay to unlock these before. Maybe you could. Um, but basically I'd have to get all the way up there to unlock that Thompson. Um, if I just wanted this one, I'd have to do this and... Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's just as far. And if I wanted this, that's 117,000 of the in-game currency. I've been playing quite a lot of this, so I've got 66,000. Yeah, not easy, so it's kind of a bit pay to win. But it's quite a good game, so I'm just kind of showing you the, the loadout stuff here. There is a lot of stuff to... um to unlock and upgrade your people with, but it does take a long time to get there, which is not great. You can also unlock vehicles and stuff for your people. I should show you this. There's also quite a lot of customations inside the gun, like you can upgrade the bullets that you use, the sights that you use, the trigger, the spring, the, even the barrel and the paint job. Yeah, so here's a quick little breakdown of the uh, the currency structure of the game. Credits are earned by playing the first person shooter aspect of the game. War funds are earned by playing the strategic game, which I'm not entirely sure about that. I've, apparently I've got 7,000 of these, but I'd, I've never seen a way to actually spend them. And gold is currency that's bought with real money. Okay, so the spawning screen kind of looks like this. Uh, you have to pick a... Pick a spawn place and then spawn on it. I can't seem to spawn here for some reason. Aha, there we go. So yeah, I just spawned in. Had a bit of trouble trying to get it to uh, to record properly. Man, these game sounds freaking loud. Let me just turn these down, sorry. Cool, so I just had a bit of trouble with the recording. Um, seems it, it's got two separate screens. It was recording the uh, the loadout screen and not the actual game that I was playing. Uh, you can get on bicycles, which is pretty freaking cool. I basically just got attacked by a German who was behind us when I spawned in. So, yeah. Let's get to it. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy, like, it's loads of long-range battles, there's tanks, there's, there's airships, there's paratroopers, it's, it's a cool game. But it's not always easy <laughs> to actually get some kills, or learn the game. Um, it used to be quite different, now it seems to be, like, massive wars and stuff, when it used to be lots of small team battles. Oh, that's a freaking tank in that hangar, I do not want to get close to that. There's a little jeep driving around. It's really not easy to hit things either. 
at such a long distance. Hit that guy. Kind of got to lead the shots as well. This freaking tank is going to kill me if I don't move. And it's all pretty much objective based gameplay. So they're trying to capture our objectives, we're trying to push them back. Yep, and that tank is coming towards me. Do have a spade and a pistol, which is awesome. Spade is like your melee weapon. You can unlock knives eventually, but at the moment I just have a spade. There was Germans around here somewhere. And for a free for a free to play game, this is freaking awesome, honestly. Like I I do hate the whole pay to win aspect. Did that guy just do a jump. Oh shit! Yeah, I do hate the whole pay-to-win aspect of it, but it is a fun game, especially for being free to play. If you want to unlock an enemy vehicle, you have to basically sit here holding it until it eventually unlocks. You can see the lock in the uh, top middle of the screen. And I can steal this gun, this uh, car with a gun on it. Make sure there's no Herman Germans around. We're going to go over to their objective, try and run some people over, why not? There used to be a quick button for like switching positions in the car, you could just quickly jump on the gun, but now I think you're going to have to get out. Is there a gap in the fence? Can I make a gap in the fence? I can break through it. Awesome. Whoa. Okay, there was a dude on top of that hill. I should have seen that. Cool. So it... Yeah. It is quite fun. It's qu also quite difficult. It's n definitely nothing like a Call of Duty shooter where you just constantly have action. If you want to spot people, you basically just have to keep your crosshair on them for a considerable amount of time. That guy had his head poking out, but just ducked down. Got a German there. He's dead though. So yeah, I kind of want to get... I'm going to spawn as a passenger. Oh, it's a motorbike. Sweet. You can unlock different vehicles like motorbikes. Jeeps and stuff. Let's push up on these guys. Whoa, that's a plane shooting at me. It's definitely a lot easier to do this close range stuff with a machine gun. gonna go for the suicidal approach. Whoa! Yep. De definitely suicidal. Uh, and they captured that, so we can no longer spawn on it. So you can kind of see the objective, like the allies try and get into the middle where the, um, the Germans try and branch out. So yeah, I'm going to try and uh, get some good gameplay. This is pretty cool. Do the jump, do the jump. Woo! Alright, let's capture this back. Seriously? This, this is what always happens to me in this freaking game. I just literally, I spend ages getting to a certain point and then... A tank blows me up or something like that it can be extremely frustrating this is what I meant when I said it was frustrating but it can also be really fun I think there is a certain game mode where tanks aren't in it which I know there used to be or there was just no tankmen around at that time when I was playing it um, for me that was more fun because I, I was playing infantry and uh, you know just shooting other people rather than constantly getting blown up by a tank, which is not so much fun. Especially when you can't afford a anti-tank weapon. I, th I definitely think that they should have 
the anti-tank weapons a lot cheaper in this because it's a real pain in the butt when you can't. Whoa! Die, bitch. It's a real pain in the butt when you can't actually um, afford a bazooka to blow up a tank that keeps killing you non-stop. I'm going to have to unlock that. Screw that. Let's get on my civilian bike. So guys, the reason I'm showing you this gameplay is because I've, I've had an idea. I may have talked about it in my latest uh, video, but I've had an idea about doing some kind of war stories or history thing where basically I talk over some gameplay of shooter games mainly at the moment mainly World War 2 shooter games because I'm really as I said in the start of the video I'm really really craving some some good World War 2 shooters I, I need a brand new next-gen World War 2 shooter I believe Battlefield the new Battlefield may be a World War 2 one I'm not entirely sure but for me this is kind of satisfying the itch at the moment and if I spend all my time playing this, then you guys uh, don't really have any videos to watch. So I kind of want to make some videos of this, but I want to keep it interesting instead of just talking over gameplay. Um, and I think, like, if I cut out the best bits into, like, a little montage thing, uh, best bits and funny moments, and then just talk about some war story or some random moment in history that is quite interesting, quite funny, quite strange or disgusting, I think that's a pretty good idea for a video. I have seen other YouTuber, and another YouTuber that does war stories, and I really enjoy those videos, but I, I don't want to copy someone else, so I kind of want to do my own thing with it, and I was thinking, I'm, I'm really struggling with like a series name, I want it to be like the name of the series, and then the thing that happens in the story, and then in brackets at the end, the game that I'm playing. That's my kind of ideal title. <laughs> As yeah, I may be thinking too much into this, but most of all, I want people to watch it and to enjoy it. But I want it to have like a, a tying theme, which would be the series name. I was thinking horrible histories or war stories, something like that. But I think War Stories has already been done by another YouTuber, so... And I, I really don't want to copy other people, or have them feel like I'm copying them, when I, even if I'm talking about something completely different, it's kind of their idea. And that's, that's not what I want to do with my YouTube channel, I don't want to copy other people, like directly copy them. So, if you've got any ideas as to what I could call this series, any ideas as to the, the stories, that I could use, I mean I've got some ideas on the stories I could use and I could just research loads of different stuff um, would you want it to be mostly about war if I'm playing like war games shooter games or would you you're not too bothered, would you rather have it about like other random stuff in history because I want it to be interesting, informative and enjoyable to watch mainly and keep people watching them because not a lot of people watch my first person shooter game videos and I think this might be a way of getting more people into it and satisfying my need to play <laughs> shooter games and World War II shooter games and other stuff. It won't just be this game, it'll be Battlefield, um, maybe some other stuff, some old random games and you can also give me some tips on games that I could play. Uh, so let me know if you've got any ideas for the series name. Let me know if you would want to watch that stuff. Um, and yeah, your feedback is really, 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 really important and really... What's the word I'm looking for? I really appreciate it, more than you can imagine. Because this is something I've been thinking about for the last two or three weeks. And I really want to do it. And if I can get some good gameplays and stuff, then I'll try and... Yeah, the main thing I don't want to do is have people think that I'm copying someone else. Someone that is a lot more successful than me. I don't want it to be, you know, oh, you copied this person, you copied that person. Because that's, that's not fun for me, that's not fun for anyone else. So, let me know. I'm thinking War Stories or Horrible Histories as a title name. If you can suggest some more, and if there's something that really, you know, catches my attention, something that sounds really good, then I will use that. So yeah, rant over, 
Thank you so much for watching, as always, guys, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> and I get spaded from behind. Nice.